Hello, stream. Welcome back. Here we are. Hey, guys. Sorry about the uh, interruption there. We're having a bit of stream issues, but it should be fine now. Uh, you've got us both back. Uh, you have our full attention ready to go. Um, in the meantime, we have set up the lobby, so we have everyone ready to go. We have uh, MDP or MDP versus Oki Timber. Uh, so this will be a nice, uh, good set to get us back up. Uh, back up and running, we'll have M Deep, the resident fledgling champion, uh, who won the last fledglings. He also won the last team tournament uh, with Ghost Chips in the same team that he's in now. So strong team. And then we have Oki Timber, who's a uh, up and coming fledgling, uh, working his way on the road to El Dorado, playing Guile. So yeah, should be fun, fun to see. Yeah, uh, look, the, the Guile uh, Karen matchup's kind of interesting. Uh, from a Karen perspective as well. Um, mm. As someone who's played the match a few times, uh, if you can call out Guile's Sonic Booms, you can resent heart straight over them and get a nice yeah. big punish over them. Also, it gives you a lot of corner pressure uh, if you're able to capitalize off of that properly. Um, so I just really want to see how MD is able to react to Oki Timber's style of play. Yeah, uh, that and that's it. Reacting to the style of play as opposed to uh, just making some guesses, being aware of how your opponent is playing and playing the opponent, which is something that MDeep's really good at, as opposed to going, I'm Karen, I'm going to do Karen stuff, or you're Guile, you're going to do Guile stuff. He's going, you're Oki Timber, you're going to do Oki Timber stuff. Exactly, and, and it's, it's nice to see that kind of read on the player. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, for sure. Throw, throw it into the corner. MDeep already got Oki Timber into the corner. But Oki Timber not having any of it. I think he uh, missing put a flash kick then. He did a jump light kick. And that's going to be a stun yeah. coming out from Andy. Uh, oh. Does drop the EX spin afterwards, but the STMK is going to close it out. All right. No worries there for MD. Really solid round. All right. Let's see if Oki can pick it up. All right. He's not throwing out very many booms. He's being a little bit, uh, a little bit too cautious. Um, he's kind of sitting, waiting for MDeep to come to him, which is not what he should be doing. He should be working hard to keep MDeep out. So either throwing booms, using Guile's amazing normals, like that back heavy punch. Um, but didn't get much of the crush counter. Alright, back in the corner. Alright, V trigger pop. Oh, good block from MDeep. Um, reading that flash kick. Doesn't drop the combo this time. Alright, will this be it? Ooh. Right, fighting his way out of the corner. Here we go. Playing some of this rushdown guile, but oh, gets caught by medium kick. So yeah, that's that's not all we're gonna see from Moki then. Yeah, but like he did well. He started to bring it back, um, but he just played a little bit too reserved. Uh, he didn't press very many buttons when he had when it was his turn. He um, really just waited for M Deep to come to him and then started pressing his buttons, which is not what you want to be doing. You should be using his brooms, using flash kicks, using uh, the amazing Guile normal buttons and command normals that he has to uh, keep MDeep out, stop MDeep from getting started. Because once Karen is in, that's like in that range what, that he was letting him into, that's where she absolutely shines. So, Absolutely. Uh, I mean, yeah. Karen's just one of those characters that once she's in your face, she's she's very. You can consider. You could even consider her a rushdown. She's got very yeah. uh, easy specials uh, that you can. Sorry, you can cancel a lot of her normals on block with her specials. So she's able to get mm. a lot of these combos out really fast if you're not thinking about it. Mm. Which so you have to be playing it smart as well. You can't just expect uh, Karen to be. R like rushing you down completely. She will space and whiff punish a lot because that's just how you're supposed to use her kit. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's something she's really good at is uh, spacing, using the standing medium kick, using a V skill, all that type of stuff, which is really good at doing uh, whiff punishes and just really keeping you in the space that she wants. But again, again we have uh, Dale Never Fails or just Dale, one of the Team WP sponsored players. Uh, and he's fantastic jury. So let's see how this goes. Um, not not quite sure how this matchup goes. Uh, neither am I, but we'll see how right. it goes out. Uh, Dale is really trying to work his way into MD at the moment. Nice check yeah, on the yeah. uh, on the jump in then, but 
gets a MD gets a nice combo off of that. Able to just push Dale out a little bit, get him out of his safety zone. He's feeling a little bit safer now. Nice air to air though. Jump in from Dale, popping V trigger. Gonna get a quite a bit of damage out. Uh, the walk up throw from MD. Gonna put a little bit of damage. V, v skill. Another throw. One more hit is gonna do it. Dale. There it is. Safe, but it wasn't safe at all. Nice check <laughs> with the crashing grab. Yeah. All right. Really good stuff from MD. Solid showing. Oh. Catches him. All right. Again, checking in with the jab. Really smart against Jury. Because uh, there's a lot of things that she does that just isn't real. That's not safe. Really good punish there from MD. All right. Pushing Dale towards the corner. Dale has full meter, though, so he needs to be careful. All right. That was really good. He stayed back, ready for the XDP, but Dale didn't bite. He was saw the space that MD was at. All right. Back into the middle screen. Again, Dale, a lot of meter to work with. Has full V trigger, full critical art. Pops! Doesn't get much off it, though. All right, here we go, jury pressure. Oh, good jump over. Drops combos. Oh, good throw. Throw pressure. Good jump round. All right, there's an interesting V reversal there. Um, oof. And will that be it? I think that just might be. Oh, yep. and we have a fledgling kill. That so is an OCV. Good job to MD. One character yeah. victory. Fantastic work. That is no easy thing to do. Um, taking out Dale like that. So really, really good job. Um, and again, that's the power of these first to ones where um, you don't get that chance to adapt. Uh, so really, really nice work there from MD. Uh, obviously adapting that little bit quicker, playing a little bit smarter in that set. So um, that pushes these guys into uh, winner's finals. Uh, Ghost Ships didn't even get a showing there. Good stuff. M Deep showing that he's not being carried by Ghost Ships at all. He is carrying his own weight. And he's yeah. trying to do the, he's, he's going for the long haul. Yeah, no, that, that's a really good point there. Like, a lot of people coming out, oh, you know, it's just going to come down to the, the non-fledglings and... Um, you know, the, the fledglings don't matter. This shows you, no, the fledglings do matter. They're here. They will uh, carry their weight as best as they can. Uh, and we do see these uh, one character uh, team kills, which is really, really good stuff from MD. Yeah, for sure. And look, it, it, it's, it comes down to the uh, a, a couple mindsets as well, right? So mm. you have the fact that it is a team tournament. So you're not just playing mm. for yourself anymore. You're playing for the team. You're playing for everyone else. Uh, in this sense, in this case, it is a 2v2, but yeah, it's the it's just a different mindset in general. You don't want to like let them down. Like in, in this instance, MD just doesn't want to, want to let Ghost Chips down. He wants to prove to him, Ghost Chips that he is carrying his own weight and that he can yeah. play well. And that's not stressing him out either. He's just realized it and he's just taking it in stride. He's performing with it. Mm -hmm. No, he's doing really well. Um, all right, so that means that we've got um, in the finals, we're going to have Stretchy Fatty. This is just our winner's finals. We have Stretchy Fatty, which was Roth, and um, Fukai Chipu, which is uh, Ghost Chips and MDP. So um, I think... <laughs> so... Um, we're going to do the winners finals now. So we have, uh, so it will be, um, the two teams I just said, Stretchy Fatty, which is rough, and, uh, Fukai Chipu, Ghost Chips, and MDP. So, this will be a nice set of games to watch. Yeah. Uh, so let's see how this goes. We'll have MD versus Kadzal to start with, which will be the Karen, uh, Dull sim match. So we'll see how uh, MD handles the the dull sim. Will he react to the teleports? Will he be able to jab them out? Will he block them? We'll so we'll see what goes on uh, in that set there. So we're just waiting on uh, the 
We're waiting oh, on uh, Stretchy Fanny. Yep. Yeah. That's alright. Um, until then, guys. Please uh, check out our player.me using the following link, uh, which will be linked in chat. We're currently sitting in fourth place globally. Uh, we can win about five grand worth of stuff, which we will auction off to, uh, to most of you guys. Uh, and it'll also send our boys to Tokyo with the rest of the money that we all, that we uh, get. Yeah. So, and uh, if you, if you participate in next week's Friday night fights, the prizes will be split and shared to you guys if you do well. Yeah, and, and that's that's a really important thing. Is um, yes, uh, Team WP does win those prizes, but we're winning those prizes for you guys, so we can auction them off to you, and that money then will go back into Team WP, getting our sponsored players um, out to different events around the world, around Australia, that type of stuff. So, uh, all right, let's get going. All right, so we have winners finals right now. We're going to have M Deep versus Kadzel. How do you think this matchup plays out? Uh, look, I think this is going to be tough for Kadzel because um, once Karen gets in, she's in uh, and that's going to be really tough for Dalsim to deal with he'll have to either use the V reversal uh, to get the Karen off him which I expect to see from him um, otherwise if he can keep the Karen out uh, with the use of fireballs to stop him from jumping or and just those long normals to keep him at that right right distance um, should be fine so look I, I don't think that this is going to be free either way. I reckon Kadzal, I've seen him play. He plays quite well. I believe he can do it. Uh, but M Deep is such a strong player at the moment. So, yeah, yeah let's see what happens. I really want to see how M Deep's going to try and approach this matchup. I mean, like you said, once Karen's in and she's in and she's going to do a lot of work, but how is she going to get in? That's what we're about mm. to find out as we head into round one. What's uh, the teleport in from Kadzal? That's not what I was expecting at all as he just wants to try and zone out M-Deep. M-Deep, nice neutral jump, medium kick. It's gonna catch the teleport. It's a small confirm. But just teleporting back from Kazar really doesn't want to be close to M-Deep at the moment. M-Deep getting caught out a little bit, but throws Kazar back into the corner. Is jumped in, it's gonna be do a lot of damage on this. One more solid combo, that'll be it. Throw in the corner, double throw, that's round one. Yeah, nice work. Uh, so that was exactly what I was talking about. Once M-Deep got in, Kadzal didn't really have much he could do. He needs to be a little bit more spacey, a little bit more aware of what M-Deep's trying to do. Uh, be really careful with those fires, uh, yoga fires, because they are so slow. Oh, good check! Uh, that was probably a missed drill kick that he tried to do, that jumping, jump forward medium kick. Oh, here we go, in the corner. Oh, just do it! Critical art! But, oh wow! It was so fire. slow! <laughs> Oh man. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cuts out in the corner again. Oh, drops the combo. This is his chance. Or oh, throws him out of the corner. Not your best choice. Oh, on the slide. Gets his face fill out. All right, one hit will do it for me, the player. That was really smart from MDP. He knew Kadzal's looking for that fireball. He was ready for it. Patient. He, he didn't mind about waiting in the fire. He knew Kadzal would throw that fireball. So he waited, and he waited, and he waited, and as soon as it happened, did the Rasenha over it, and took that game. Really smart play. Smart play coming up from M Deep, and he really... Mm. It, you, you were right in the fact that he was waiting for that uh, fireball to come out. Uh, Rasenha, mm. known for having that projectile invincibility, able to punish a lot of Hado users, uh, Shoto's, sorry. Yeah. As well as, you know, Guile, and, and basically anyone with a projectile. Mm. Uh, it's really, it comes out quite fast, and there's He's got a few mix-ups afterwards as well. Whether he wants yeah. to set up for Oki or jump over. But there's there's a few things he can do. Yeah, so right now we're going to have uh, Roth and M-Deep. So let's see if Roth sticks with his um, Ryu choice. Or will he go to his birdie? M-Deep is a strong player, so uh, I'm not sure how what uh, if picking Ray is a good choice. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. 
All right. Please waiting at the moment for me. Oh, I'm stuck there too, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Ooh. Loading, loading in now. He's, he's gone with the birdie. He's looking he's sharp. With... Yeah, looking sharp with his uh, sexy birdie. Not a yeah. sentence, not two words that I thought I would string together anytime soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. He's lost his stomach. He's worked out quite a bit, and he's feeling pretty good about himself at the moment. So heading to round one. Uh, nice check on the dash in from Wekream. Sweep as well. Just playing playing his game. How about a small confirm with a bull rush to end it? Overhead. Sweep. But the Vera Vessel whiffs Ooh. completely. The dash in EX command grab. He'll do a lot of damage and he's going to get stunned. That's going to be a clean round from Requiem. Yeah, really solid stuff from Roth there. Um, really in control. Look at Birdie's shoes though, just, just quietly. Look how pointy and... Oh man, disgusting. <laughs> Alright. Oh, good anti-airs. Alright, so... MVP really struggling to get in at the moment. Roth doing a really good job keeping him out. Oh, nice big jump in. Drops the combo though. Oh, good check. Close to stun. Oh, is that gonna... Oh, I really agree with that DP. Really smart choice there. Saw that he'd hit had been uh, absorbed by a hit of armor. So using that uh, EXDP to yep. to save himself in that situation. Really good awareness from him deep. Oh, but he just can't get in. He's trying to find a way in, but he actually gets one with EX Tenko. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, good buttons there from Roth. Just using those really long-reaching normals to keep uh, M Deep out. Yeah, yep. really nice play. Really yeah. smart. But he's a, a little bit uh, a little bit tanky. He has a lot of health, so mm. Karen really needs to get quite a few openings onto him, and didn't get. Uh, anywhere near the amount that it, he needed to that game. But it, it's nice to see Requiem rocking back the birdie. Yeah. Uh, after his previous playing Ryu. Alright. Oh, sorry, I'll get to the back of queue. I apologize. Alright, so we're going to have Requiem of Fear and Ghost Chips. All right. This will be a good, fun match. Right, Birdie vs. Bison. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm i trying to think of how this matchup is going to play out, and I'm kind of stumped. I, I just You just don't see many birdies. Oh, um, well, not Birdie. Oh, I don't know. Like, there's there's been a lot happening with, like, SXC, where we've had, like, Ghost Chips and Somniac. Versing people like uh, Requiem of Fear and um, the other Team WP sponsored player. Um, oh my god, I'm sorry, my mind has gone completely blank. Wow. I'll get back to that one, I apologize. But here we go, <laughs> Requiem of Fear and Ghost Chips. Yep, back into it. Uh, rocking the Red Bull suit again, but that's, you know what? That's completely fine. He's, he's, he's repping his sponsors, he's happy. <laughs> it's um, like rumors of ghosts. I apologize. Rumors of ghosts is the other birdie player. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Either way, it's a kind of an interesting dynamic. Uh, like birdie wants to try and keep out Bison. Bison is going to be unrelenting with his pressure once he does open up. Mm. Uh, birdie throwing out the can. That can is great. The missile dive. He's having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Just look, look at that hairdo. <laughs> he's got a hole in it, he's he's having a good, nice throw, putting ghost chips back to the right side of the stage. But oh, he's gonna get a more confirm off of that command grab. Sets up for Oki, dash in. Slides under the jump. It's kind of They're just throwing out normals and it's a bit of a weird match to spectate, uh, for me at least. Yeah, ooh. The slide nice. cancel V trigger was pretty smart though. Uh, just mm. really doesn't want to get punished for using something so dangerous. Just and it's also a really good way to get in. Yeah, mm. absolutely. On the off chance it does happen, he gets a huge confirm out of it. But nice V trigger cancel, EX command grab is going to close out round one. Yeah, nice work there from uh, Requiem of Fear. I'm, 
pretty sure both these players are very wary of this matchup right now because uh, they've played a lot in recent tournaments um, so they probably have done a little bit of research into each other at least research into the characters and getting a good understanding of the situation oh nice jump there Ooh. all right back into the middle of the screen oh big bison buttons pushing him into the corner oh good use of the armor all right he's got a big knockdown all right Again, Ghost Ship's playing nice and patient right now. Kind of, he has the life lead, waiting for Requiem of Fear to get in. All right. All right, this is really interesting. They're both kind of just sitting around, pressing some buttons. All right, finally, there's a can. Ghost Ship's so patient, just sitting and blocking. He has that life lead. There's no reason for him to go in right now. Oh, big jump in. All right, Ghost Ship's in the corner. Not where he wants to be right now. Ooh, a lot of buttons. Nice block strings. Oh, catches him with EX Dolphin Dive. What's the mix-up? Oh. Ghost Chips has to do something now. He has a lot of meter to work with. Oh, no. Misses an anti-air. I'm not sure if that was a, a read or just a Australia-New Zealand thing that just happened. But, man, unlucky there. He was he, doing so well. He had the nice life lead. He was playing so patient, waiting for uh, the birdie to come in, but um, just playing a little bit too safe and ended up getting nicked. Yeah, Requiem of Fear kind of had the entire stage for himself. He just was able to apply the pressure that he wanted to apply. Ghost Ships wasn't really punishing him throwing up anything either. Yeah, no, he did really well. So there we have it. We have um, Team stretchy fatty moving on to grand finals all right so now we have ghost chips and uh m deep moving into losers finals so they'll have to win that come back and hopefully get that bracket reset to bring it back all right so let's have a look at the bracket let's see what's going on now uh and who we've got up next uh we possibly might have team boss versus team warm-up and it Ooh. looks like we do all so right. that, that is uh, Carbuncle and Heart Professor versus... Uh, Stahili? Stahili and... What was it? Was it Stahili? I apologize, I can only see S-T-A. Yep, I'm pretty sure it was Stahili. Oh uh, yeah, Stahili and Repopazorg. Repopazorg, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, nice. All right, cool. So we have um, up first... We'll just jump myself to the back of the queue. We're going to have Heart Professor and Stahili. This will be a nice little match to watch. We'll that see how um, uh, Heart handles that uh, Ed pressure or how uh, or what Stahili does to keep Heart out or even um, get in on Heart using either the Psycho Knuckle Ball or into or see if Heart Professor uses those counters to stop that Ed pressure from coming in. Yep. Waiting to get Staheli into lobby at the moment, but uh, I, do, I do agree that I feel like this matchup for Heart isn't too bad. I feel like he can play his own game. Yeah. Pretty safely, sorry. Um, like Karen has... Sorry, not Karen. Colin has a lot of movement options, a lot of mix-up potential. Uh, her mm. Icicle as well can set up for a lot of cross-ups or fake cross-ups. Yeah. Let's see how Heart plays it. No, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. All right. Just, uh... Yep, there he goes. Get rid of Ghost Chips. All right, here we go. Stahili versus Heart Professor. Uh, getting into the... And the really pointy end of this tournament. So getting into Yeah, let's see what let's see what happens. What 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 are you uh what are your predictions? Predictions? Yeah. I've got a feeling that Hart and Kabunkle are gonna take this one. You uh, reckon? It's, it's gonna be close though, it's gonna be two one. Yeah. Um two one? Alright, no, I can see that. Uh, right. Heart, Heart's going to do a lot of work. He's going to have a close game with uh, Repopulzorg as well. 
You reckon? Yep. That's my prediction. All right. So let's let's get into it then. I'll let uh, let you go because I got to catch up. But um, I'm mean, I'm excited to see how this goes. And yeah, no worries. Uh, we're just about to hop in a game here, and. Uh, Bit of a slow start. Hart trying to set up for an icicle. Does it in fact just get a nice grab onto Mr. Heli? Heli getting a crush counter. Nothing too big out of it. Nice counter coming out for Hart. Just take. He's just picking apart Mr. Heli at the moment. Again, doing colon movement. Nice icicle jump. Able to keep going. Pushed Mr. Heli into the. Heli charges a HP. Able to get a full conversion off it. It's gonna be a huge amount of damage. V skill, oh, a wow. V trigger popping out. Another charged heavy punch, but doesn't get anything after. But that is going to be a stun. And Hart uh, is going to get oh. a reset. It's not dead quite yet. Hart, he can Still he can make it. the comeback. He's not dead yet. Throws Ooh. out his v, uh, v trigger. My butt does score by the one, two, three. Comes out really quickly. You have to be careful of that. Yeah. Questionable use of V skill there. Uh, probably could have used it as a block string or. Frame trap to catch something. Oh, good anti airs from Stahili. Oh, but wake up buttons from Hunter Person. Not afraid. All right, that's not safe. Where's the punish? There it is. All right, Hunter Professor, a lot of meter right now. All right, press a lot of buttons too. Good patience there from Stahili. Oh, no. Ooh. Expected something. <laughs> missed, missed it. Not a big punish though from Hunter Professor. Set up his icicle too far away. Yeah. All right, Stahili in the corner. Oh, big jump into critical art. Oh, no, it whips. Oh. All right, big punish from Hart. Yeah, I expect that. That's going to be a lot of damage oh. if it's the game. No, nah, not quite. Combo, though. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, combo's off it. Oh, so cool. Oh, no, drops it again. Stahili, just a couple of drops. Almost cost him the set or the round, but manages to clutch it out. Nice work, Ben. Solid 2i coming out from uh, Mr. Heli there. Yeah. Really not afraid of Hart's mix-up potential and his movement options. Yeah. Uh, really smart picking up that Hart wasn't uh, getting his meaty timings or anything like that. So they're just pressing a lot of buttons to stop him from there. Uh, stop him uh, from continuing. That is true. Now we have Carbuncle versus Mr. Heli. All right. So Carb's got to be careful now. It is getting pretty late. So, uh, you know, make sure he's he's probably going to start powering down soon. But I believe in Carb. I, I reckon um, he's Chun, very strong, really good uh, fundamentals that he has. So he should be able to take this one, I reckon. Uh, and he does need to win this. If Stahili wins this, he knocks out Team Boss from the tournament because we are in loser's side at the moment. Yeah, that we are, and if he does actually knock out Carbuncle, that means he did OCV, uh, Team Boss. But yes. let's not get ahead of ourselves as we head into the next match. What do you feel like uh, that Carbuncle needs to do against Ed? Uh, look, just use um, the really good normals that Chun has, and just keep him at bay. Don't let him get in. Um, I, I expect to see a lot of standing heavy punch, and... Oh no, he's going in. Has a hit Hard. in the right now. Wow. Oh. All right, working perfect. Oh, that's not real. So if after that knockdown, where just that flip kick across, that's not. He's not at a positive. You can press buttons. Ooh. Facing. Ooh. Catches him with the low. All right. Carb's on the corner. Oh, good anti airs from Stahili. All right. Carb has his V trigger popped. Oh, Psycho Upper. Good blocks. That's Smart not safe. Job. Uh, yeah, absolutely. He had a commanding lead and just ended up playing it patiently near the end. It's all he really needed to do. Telly overextended with the EX Psycho Upper, but we're going in. Carb going really hard, pushing Staheli into the corner, but the rolls are reversed. Actually, neutral jumps over the EX spinning bird kick. Everybody got a full convert. Conversion off guard. That's oh, going to be wow. a huge stun. Built up meter. This is going to be... Resets. Resets? Wow! He's so close, so close to the full bars as well, but nice. Yeah, spinning bird kick. Getting himself out of that corner. Beer Russell putting himself back in that corner. 
It's heli. That, that was a good. Oh, is that gonna be? Ch no, it's not enough oh, to chip. No, it won't be enough. No. Oh, so close though. Nah, uh, light right. punish coming out from Carbuncle. Back throw. Right. Got to put Ed back in that corner. Just uh, I space reckon he's looking for cheese. I yeah, feel like is. he is. Yep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> Come! Oh no! Just out of range. It's red gem powered down. As <laughs> oh no! He <laughs> pressed CA, but yeah. jump in from Staheli. He's gonna get a nice chunky bit of health out of Carb. Yeah. All right. Carb in the corner now. Not looking too fresh. All right. Staheli throws. Carb close to stun. Has to pull out something now. Oh, wake up, EX. Um, fireball. Interesting choice. Ooh. All right, Carb looking for the V trigger activation now. Fishing with downfall medium punch. Oh, catch it um, with heavy kick. There it is. Oh, good psycho upper. Oh, and that's oh. All right, V triggers out. Carb's got to be careful. Oh no. Oh wow. That that was uh, interesting psycho upper. Good, good choice there from Stahili. Doing a, a team sweep there, taking out team boss all by himself. OCV uh, from yeah. Kelly. He said to be happy with that result. I mean, it was a hard, like a really close game uh, with Cub Uncle at the start, but then he kind of started rolling over Cub, figured something out. Yeah, yeah, no, he must have figured out something because uh, that that first round from Cub was really commanding. So um, maybe Cub did indeed end up powering down. So up next, we're going to have uh, the Abuki Army versus uh, Team Warm-Up, which again is Tahili and uh, Rapuple Zorg. So, so uh, we have Bugs and Hawk, was it? Yeah, Hawko 01, uh, 0313. So Hawko. It'd be interesting to see how these two Ibikis play differently. Um, yeah. They'd so. They might have similar uh, mix-ups, but the way they space and the way they play out the neutral is going to be very different. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so, uh, Bug is also one of our Team WP sponsored players. So, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll do very well. So, let's see uh, how he's gone. So, I think um, this has been, this would be a really good opportunity for Hawker to really get to watch Bug and even like communicate with Bug, uh, talk about the matchup that just happened, talk about um, the w what he's doing, the areas of improvement, what type of uh, buttons he should be pressing in certain matchups. So I think um, if Hawko pays attention to what uh, Bug's telling him, this would be a really good uh, learning experience for him, which is again what, what this uh, doubles tournament is all about just helping the the fledglings giving them an extra opportunity to learn again from these um more experienced players yeah absolutely the coaching do really does play a like a pretty big part in these doubles tournaments uh each player yeah. also being able to see what their teammate may not be able to see while they're in game yeah um and also um one of the perks of having a uh, two character or one character doubles team. So we have the the Abukis here. So uh, Sifbug basically can technically get two rounds of data if he needs to. So if uh, Hawko loses here, he gets a game of Abuki data against Stahili. So you can see what Stahili likes to do against Abukis. So you can kind of think about it in that way as well. Uh, even if Hawko wins this, uh, he's going to be able to have a showing against uh, Rapopol's Org, which would be a, an awesome experience for him. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, Hawko as Ibuki, Stahili as Ed. Stahili playing really well right now as well. Um, yeah. Got the one character victory in the last set against Team Boss, Carbuckle, and Heart Professor. Let's see if he can do it again. I reckon... It's, it's, it's possible. I feel like it is possible in the way he's playing and the reads that he's getting on uh, each of these players at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it goes, mm. but getting in the game. Nice slide in from Hawko. Oh. Double jab into V-Skill check. He's just taking his time with this. Oh. Sliding under the V-Skill. Oh, that was really smart. Yep. 
He's able to get up, but gets counter, uh, counter hit from the fully charged HP from Staheli. Staheli, mm. anti airing perfectly well. Put Porco into this corner. Stun bar's pretty big at the moment, but Ooh. Porco's not too afraid. Take it a little bit. Biding his time, dash, oh, at, dash past him, gets the cross up. This is the kind of mix up I was talking about uh, earlier. That oh, uh, that was so sneaky. Nice bomb reset, but that CA should That's... close it out. Yeah. Man, that was really good. Porco has improved quite a lot since the last time I saw him play. Um, he seems to have got a better understanding of the Ibuki resets. He seems to have a better idea of um, what's going on, actually. Oh, actually, the last time I saw him play, I was commentating with Bug. And, well, there uh, you go. So, and he was, uh, Bug was actually saying all the things that uh, Hawker should be doing, so I'm sure this uh, partnership has worked well for him. Absolutely, he would have learned a lot from Bug. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, Hawker going back in. Oh, good Psycho Upper. All right. Jumps his way out of the corner, though. Good stuff. All right, feature activation. Oh, EXTP, not the best choice. He should have done V-Reversal, but he's probably saving that up for um, V-Trigger. But you got to be careful with that. If you're saving up for V-Trigger and you don't use a V-Reversal and you die, you don't get to use your V-Trigger. So you may as well use that V-Reversal uh, in, in those situations. Oh, that was probably misinput. Going for like a instant air dagger or something. Good throw. Awesome. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Hawko is bringing it back. <sighs> Having a good showing as well. Sif's probably in the back, cheering him on, coaching, saying, I, I respect that. I would have done that too. <laughs> Having a good time, but... Good use of E-Skill. Yeah, both players charging up their moves. Hawko's going to win out top. Nice uh, yeah. target combo into command grab. Jumps well, over. For... <laughs> Dash through. Really just trying to mix up Saheli at the moment. Uh, Saheli trying to guess which combo to go for, but let's get a nice confirm out of that V-Trigger combo. Yeah. Got to be careful. Both have full meter at the moment, and there is full V-Trigger for Hawko. Yep. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm not sure, but that's going to be a huge <laughs> combo. No! <laughs> that's past the X-Cycle offer. There was no oh, need to God. reset that Hawko. Just finish him. <laughs> Oh no. Jumps oh, out. No. It's a smart play, but Ooh. Hawker just needs one thing to get in, and uh, the edit is going to close it out. <laughs> yeah. So I think um, Hawko got a little bit tunnel vision y there. Uh, he wanted that EX Kunai jump in. He missed it once, so then he tried to reset his position. But in that time, Staheli was able to close in. He was able to uh, go for that air to air, which ended up closing out that round. So. Um, I think that's uh, something for Hawko to be aware of is don't get that tunnel vision. Yeah, you want to get that cool um, EX Kunai from the air uh, resets and opportunities. But if it's if you're not able to get it or you've missed it, you have to be able to adjust on the fly and change your plan as you go. So you had a good idea from the, the spacing that you were. You go, oh, I want to jump into EX Kunai. Good idea. But when it didn't work, the situation has changed. You can't go, oh, I need to get back so I can do another EX Kunai. And you go, the situation has changed. What's the best option for me now? So that's something for uh, Hawko to be aware of. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot, a lot of this comes with time and practice. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, right. it's, it's just one of those things that he needs to get a feel for the spacing. He, he needs to understand his damage potential as well. I feel like uh, if he did that w a full length combo from that position, he would have put himself in a better position just to get that stray hit and finish yeah. the going off. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we'll hop into the next game. Sith Bug versus Taheli. Same matchup, although it's Sith Bug rocking uh, that new uh, costume. Yeah, sporty Ibuki. Big fan. Uh, as we head into the game, a nice dive kick coming in from Sith. Gonna get a nice chunk out of Staheli's health. Taking his time at the moment. Knuckle. Psycho oh, Knuckle so coming funny. out from... But jumps in, gets a small confirm. Just a fuck in the corner. Sith Bug answering in kind. Getting a Oops, nice uh... reset over all of this. Again, pushing him into the combo. Dodges the Psycho Knuckle with the V skill. Uh, doesn't, it does get the stun and that's going to be round one. 
Oof. I, I wasn't sure if um, he was, would be able to get the full stun combo there because he just had to block the V trigger ball. But he luckily did. he didn't have enough time. All right. Uh, Bug going in. Stahili in the corner now. All right. Oh, nice jump. Overheads. All right. Oh, standing heavy. Good spacing. All right. Bug really pushing uh, Stahili from corner to corner. Really. Um, a lot of, lot of offense coming, and that's oh, the start. Good. Yep. That's going to be a quick 2-0 for Bug. Yeah, uh, really solid. It probably uh, downloaded Staheli from watching the previous match, realized what he needed yeah. to do, what he could punish, noticed that Staheli was charging a, his HP a lot and just going for the mix-ups afterwards. Yeah. Uh, didn't work out for him at all. No. Um, so now we're going to see Repuppelzorg versus uh, Bug. So this will be interesting. We've got two characters which rely on crazy mix-ups and resets. So this will be fun to watch. Um, we'll see if uh, Roops can get Bug in the corner and do some crazy Mika stuff. We can see if Bug can uh, either keep Repuppelzorg out or get in there and start his own crazy uh, Ibuki mix-ups. This will be fun to watch. Both really good high-level players. Absolutely. Uh, wh who do you think wins this matchup? Um, I'm going to say Ibuki, for sure. Like, Ibuki is probably, what, top five at the moment? And Mika, sure, she was uh, probably the strongest character or one of the strongest characters in Season 1. But Season 2, she got hit by the Capcom nerf hammer. And, um... It, that, yeah, not as strong as she used to be. Yeah, right. fair enough. We're heading into game one. Sif taking his time, but Rolzog <laughs> he's also spacing pretty well. Just staying out of Sif's range. Just trying yeah. to find a way to open him up at the moment. It's fairly back and forth. Ooh, really patient at the moment. They're both kind of standing in that mid-range section. Repopplesorg was able to get a jump in, but didn't get too much off it. Sif got a crush counter, but because Repopplesorg was in the air already, did not get any confirms out of that EX Kunai. Repopplesorg got him in the corner. That's going to be a stun. And that's Drops it. the mic. Drops the <laughs> mic. The Desco came in as well. Came to say hi. Taps it out. All right. Here we go. Oh, Kunai to start it off. Stops the slide. EX Kunai. Here's the mix-up. All right. Ooh, sweet. No punish, though. All right. Roops gets thrown back in. Ooh. All right, that is very plus. So he was looking for a EXDP there to stop that Mika pressure, but Bug not falling for it. Ooh. Jumps himself back into the corner. Ooh, good anti airs. All right. Roops in the corner. Has a lot of meter to work with and V-Trigger. There it is. All right. Bug in the corner now. Solid life lead though, but has to be super careful. Uh, Roops has a lot of meter to work with, and Mika with meter is very scary. A lot of damage, a lot of mix-up potential. So this can be... Re Ooh. I was going to say it can be uh, reversed, but no. Bug took that round quite yeah. nicely. Bug's playing really solidly. Made a nice adjustment from round one. Realized when uh, Popple Zorg was going to press a lot of buttons and is punishing it a lot right now. Almost stunned for Popple Zorg stuck in that corner. Medium punch pressure coming out from Sif Buck. Nideshko isn't going to uh, connect, but Popple Zorg out of that corner. Forced Bug back into it. Bug fighting Ooh. his way out pretty solidly, though. Nice sweep. Oh, the XQ Knight. Was playing very patiently, hmm. letting Bug hit, uh, connect, on block. But once he does open him up, it's going to get a nice confirm out. Uh, wrong Kunai coming out from uh, Bug then. Hmm. But one more straight hit will do it for Bug. Does <laughs> V reverse. Yeah, good choice. And the slide is punishable as shown by Republic Zog, but a crouching jab is going to take it out. And that's. Ooh. Epiki Army is going to move forward. Yeah. So look, uh, the first round to Rups was really, really strong. Kind of, um, it was pretty even, but uh, Rups seemed to be in good control of that. But uh, Bug took those last two rounds pretty, 
pretty uh, solidly. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he made a, a nice adjustment to his playstyle and mm. was able to convert a lot of his mix-ups uh, around uh, Mika's movement. Yeah, no, and like that that's a really big thing to be able to do in such a short period of time because you, usually in these, these type of tournaments, it is that first to two. So you have that first game to kind of get a read on your opponent. Bug was able to do that after one round. That first round where he got the data that he needed on Roops uh, and was able to capitalize on all that information that he had. Yeah, it was a super um, so. fast adjustment from Bug. Uh, and mm. again, this is the because this is best of one, everyone's going to be using their tricks straight away. There is no holding yeah. back tricks. There is no conditioning as well. Uh, if you're conditioning someone, you're going to make uh, condition them in the first round and they have to react in kind. Yeah. All right. So we're going to be moving on to losers finals now, I believe. Uh, All right. Uh, I don't think sorry, so. I think losers semis. No? Epic e Army versus Team Warlock. Oh, sorry. I apologize. All right. So here we go. Buki Army versus Team Warm Up. Uh, I, I think this will be a, a nice set to watch as well. We've got some really good players. Uh, we have Rekha Mafir, Kadzal, who's been playing pretty well as well. Um, Dulcim, a very hard character to use, and he's been doing some pretty good stuff. Getting some uh, day one Dulcim teleport resets. But, uh, yeah, w w what do you think about what's going to happen? Rami. Yep, sorry, that is my bad. Uh, it is, in fact, <laughs> Losers Finals. Um, oh, it is they, Losers they Finals. Just, they just beat Team Warm Up. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we will be having uh, Bug versus... Uh, Bug, sorry, Ibuki Army versus Fukai Chipu. As you just said. Uh, no, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, so a yeah, little yeah. bit behind. That's loses, fine. Losers finals, yeah. All right, so then uh, it's Ibuki Army versus Fukai Chipu, which is M Deep and um, Ghost Chips, who so, won this Karen, tournament last time. Yep. Uh, very solid players. Uh, Karen Bison versus two Ibuki's. It's going to be an interesting. Uh, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Ibuki's going to open up. Uh, sorry, Karen's going to open up Ibuki. Uh, the, yeah. the way I see it is uh, she's going to with punish the mix-ups that Ibuki's going to be throwing out. But yeah, at yeah. the same time, it's going to be pretty hard to you know, check your buttons in between uh, the really strong normals from Ibuki. Yeah, no, um, I think... No, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an interesting match to watch. So we'll see what happens. Um, just waiting on the the teams to enter the um, enter the lobby at the moment. So looking back to the last two v two that we had, we had um, M Deep and Ghost Chips, who actually got into losers finals last time. They won that and they got the bracket reset in grand finals, and that's how they won last time so they're in the same position they've shown that they can do this um so let's see if they can bring it back and do this again it'd definitely be a story to tell two in a row uh yeah we haven't had a two in a row winner yet for the doubles final it's been different different teams every time that's also a good thing uh, good, like a nice dynamic though uh if yeah. there was a team that was able to beat every other team out there, uh, they are still yet to show at the moment. It's very close between, you know, a few of the top teams currently. Yeah, no, definitely. All right. So let's get, uh, all right, here we go. We have uh, everyone in the lobby right now. Let's get, let's get started. Oh, no. Where's MD gone? Just waiting on MD. Yeah. So Karen vs Ibuki, what are you looking forward to uh, specifically in this matchup? Uh, specifically in this one, uh, it'll be interesting to see how Mdeep um, handles the, the Ibuki mix-ups. So he's shown that he's a really solid player. He has some, he's really patient, but maybe that might not work in his favor if you have a, uh, an Ibuki that's dashing all around you, picking different sides. Um, that might 
that kind of more patient style where he's kind of waiting for buttons to come out and then reacting accordingly might not work too well for him with a lot of side switches going on. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as we drop down and let them get started. Yeah. All right. Uh, also, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Hawker goes against uh, Mdeep's Karen. Who, again, very strong Karen. Uh, really good at playing the opponent. So we'll see if uh, Hawker is able to make adjustments to Mdeep compared to uh, the previous match, where he's playing, uh, was it Stahili? Was playing Stahili last? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. And it was a All solid right. match between the two, but uh, yeah. Stahili came ju out just on top. Yeah. He did well. All right. So, ready to go. M Deep or MDP versus Hawko. 0-3-1-3. Let, let's let's get started. Okay. So we'll see if um, look. I, I reckon Hawko's been playing pretty well. This isn't uh, it isn't too far fetched for him to take this one. He just has to play smart, uh, keep the mix ups going, which he has shown. He he does have those Ibuki mix ups. So he just needs to pull those out, mix up and deep. And uh, I reckon he, this is something they can do. Play a little bit more basic as well. Don't have to be too greedy with your punishes. Mm. Uh, that's the other thing I'd say oh, to be like still looking out for. Um, as we get into game one, uh, bit of a slow start. Both players just kind of scoping each other out. And they're going to draw first blood, but again, taking the time at the moment. Nothing big coming yeah. out. It's a nice jab. Crosses up, but. MD pulls it out, even grabs him afterwards, throws him back into the corner. Huge confirm from MD. EX Tenko gonna get a nice chunk of that stun meter done. And that's a stun for MD. This should be it. Oh, never mind. One more jab, we'll check it out though. And that'll be it. Yeah, solid round from MD. So um looks like Hawko's playing at M Deep's pace. Uh, which is that real slow methodical pace. So uh he really needs to mix this up a little bit, get a little bit up in Endeep's grill, swapping sides, getting, um, using those EX Kunai, which he wasn't using before to get that his own pressure started. But now he's in the corner. Ooh. Oh, dashes out, but Endeep was ready. So nice check there from Endeep. Ooh. All right. So you get, again, Hawk, um, Endeep playing really patiently, just willing to hold down back. Oh, good reaction to the overhead. Drops his combo though. Oh, good checks. Oh, good throw. All right, Porco, a lot of meter. Oh no! Good blocks there from uh, M Deep, knowing not to go in. I'm pretty sure the heavy kick on block into V trigger cancel isn't plus. I might be wrong on that, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, not too sure. So I, I'm pretty sure M Deep would be bl holding block there anyway. The one thing that uh, was punishable 100% 100 and he could have punished many times was the Tenko. Uh, if, it's the yeah. if, the, if it's the shoulder charge at the end of the dash, that's zero. Mm. But it is neg one on block, it is punishable. Uh, but well, we did not see a single punish off it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely his turn to start pressing buttons at the very least. All yep. right. Maybe a bit of a matchup in experience, but... Hopefully he learns a bit from safe first name deep. Yeah. Alright, so here we go. Sif bug. Uh playing now against M Deep. M Deep getting a little bit of warm-up against uh Ibuki in this matchup. So let's see how he handles Bug. A really strong uh Ibuki player. Bug's just a little bit more aggressive than Hawko. Able mm. to just open up his opponent uh his opponent whenever he wants able to get those confirms as well the stray hits they aren't stray they're calculated yeah he gets decent confirms off of each one yeah definitely all right so let's see what's going on all right here we have sif bug versus m deep this is for losers finals right now 
Sifbud needs to win this for his team to stay alive. Uh, and if MD wins this, they move on to Grand Finals. Yep. Nice start coming out from Sifbug though. Getting a small little combo off. Poking a little bit, but jump over grab's gonna put Sifbug in a different position. Jumps in, again, not really getting much off it until uh, he whiff punished MD. But the EX Kunai into knockdown sets up for Oki. Shimmies and stuns, that's gonna be it. Yeah, solid stuff there from Bug. Nice use of back throw to build the meter. All right, really solid uh, commanding game. So let's see if MDeep can... Ooh. Nice uh, frame trap there. Let's see if MDeep can keep... Oh, change it up a little bit, because it's not looking too good for him. Really close to stun. Ooh. All right, nice job backing off, letting that stun by deplete. And MDeep now has full, full meter and everything. Oh, good throw. All right, he's close to the corner now. Bug jumps itself in and gets thrown out. Oh, that is not safe. Could have been punished. Oh, big sweeps. And deep on his last legs, and there it is. That was a nice cross-up from Bug then. Yeah, really, really nice cross-up. So tricky. All right. So, uh, this is going to be Ibuki versus Bison. Ghost Chips versus Bug. I'm excited. This is going to be really fun. Um... Two really good players. Uh, I don't remember how they went against. Did they or if they even versed each other at SXC? But um, yeah, this will be really fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, it depends on how Bugs gonna play at the end. If he wants to keep using his fake cross ups like he did in the, at the end of that last game. Uh, yeah. Or if he wants to just uh, you know switch sides, mix ups, uh, dash under. Mm. There's so many ways he, he's able to trick uh, Ghost Chips. And then this is the thing, the Bison Ibuki matchup, he's able to mess with the charge uh, of Ghost Chips as well. Yeah, no, that, that's actually a really important thing to note is um, all these cross-ups, cross-unders, dash-throughs, uh, will mess with that charge of Bison because if he wants to do uh, like a scissor kick or the Psycho Blast, he has to be holding backwards for that. And if he crosses him up, that he's now holding forwards, he's not holding backwards. So uh, that's something Ghost Chips is going to have to be, be aware of and be ready for. So let's see how he handles those cross-ups, that tricksy stuff from uh, uh, the Ibuki. And uh, I'm sure this will be a great match to watch. Yeah, absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, both mm. these players are fairly well-renowned uh, in the Oz community. Mm. Uh, as we get in the game here, Fast start coming out from Bug, dashing up grabbed, pushing Ghost Chips back into that corner, using V skill a lot, just trying to get some meter, but gets a nice confirm off of a knee. V reversal, not afraid just to use it straight away, crush counter, getting a DP out of that as well. Ghost Chips fighting back, very close to stun though. One more spray hit will do it. Ghost Chips fighting out of that corner, not afraid yep. at all. But it's gonna get caught Ooh. by the low. That's gonna take round one. That was really solid there from Bug. Um, let's see what Ghost Chips can do to bring it back. So that was just a whole round of uh, Ghost Chips trying to get back into the game, make it his turn again. But Bug was just all up in his face, like he is now, with Ghost Chips back in the corner. Good use of Devil's Reverse out. All right, Bison Pressure getting started. Good use. Oh, EXL's Devil's Reverse gets the knockdown. Oh. Good tech. Oh, doesn't get him with the unblockable side. Good punish there from Bug. Oh, wake up buttons. Ghost Chips is really aware of what buttons he should be pressing right now. Here we go. Psycho power. Combos. What's the mix up? Which side? There it is. Good blocks from Bug. Oh, all right. Oh, gets him with the side switch. Is this it? This is going to be it? Oh, nice. Yes, it is. And that's Ibuki Army into the grand finals. Wow. Nice work. Taking out last time's champions. Yeah. So that's it for um, Fukai Chipu. Yep. They, they did really well. They got into winners finals, got knocked out, um, and then got knocked out again um, there by the Ibuki army. 
you got to be a little bit salty about that, making it all the way to winners finals, then going 0 and 2. Yikes. I think I think regardless, they had a really good showing. I mean, oh, definitely. They bug just he's on point tonight. He's playing really well, and he's yeah. just adjusting very quickly to how each person plays. Yeah, no, no, he's doing really well. So let's see uh, if he has any advice now for Porco coming into this grand final set. Um, all right, and for those of you at home, this is the grand final. All right, so this means um, that uh, the Ibuki army will have to win two sets. Okay, so the reason this is, is there's a winner's side and there's a loser side. Everyone starts off in the winner's side. And if you lose, you get knocked into the loser's side. If you lose in loser's side, you get knocked out. So we have the Ibuki army. They're already in the loser's side. They've got knocked into losers. They've fought all the way through losers. And now they're in the grand final. But then you have uh, the team uh, Fatty Stretchy, who have been in winner's final or winner's side the whole time. All right. So what has to happen is they need to be knocked into losers and then knocked out of losers. This means that the Ibuki army has to win two sets in a row. Okay, so that means that if uh, Bug does eventually beat uh, Requiem of Fear, that means it'll start again with the two fledglings playing. And if he does that, it'll be a huge momentum shift as well. Yeah. I mean, Kadzal and Requiem Yeah, these guys Fear, have been... They're, yeah, they're, 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 they've been sitting, chilling, analyzing, waiting. They, they're feeling comfortable at the moment. They may not be as yeah. warm as Hawko and Sithbug, but still feeling it they're still yeah, feeling no, bad of course and i'm sure uh Requiem of fear has given um a lot of advice to uh to kadzo so let's see let's see what he what he can do can he deal with the abuki mix-ups can uh hawko deal with the keep out of the of the sim can he deal with the the teleports it'd be interesting to watch yeah absolutely i, I mean although personally i feel that uh Ibuki has many options to be able to approach Kadzo or Dalsim. Yeah. As you say that, just to jump in, it's going to actually get a little bit of damage, but nice cross up uh, from the dash. Get a nice hefty target combo for man grab. Jump in again, grab. It doesn't right. offer a cross up that time, just throwing out some normals. Hawko teleporting behind is going to get a Whoa. nice chunk of damage. Out onto Hawko. The V skill, uh, V trigger popping as well. Just spacing, Ooh. taking his time at the moment. He's not overextending into Kadzal's reach. If anything, he's just rushing him down. And this should be it. No. Oh, not quite. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go for anything huge, just goes for something basic. And this might come back to haunt him, but the Kunai Ooh. is going to take it out. Yes. All right. Uh, also, just quickly, grand finals is first to two. All right. So each set is a first to two set. So these guys will win. They'll have to jump back in, and I'll quickly, after their set, change it back to a first to two. Ooh. No worries, then. That changes a lot, then. It does. It gives people more time to adjust. It gives um, more data able to be read. All right. Kedzo doing pretty well right now. Knocking Hawko quite around a lot. Oh, good, good fireball. Catching Ooh. the jump. Oh, all right. Ibuki time. All right. Guess the knockdown. Oh. One mix ups. Oh, that's the stun. That's going to be it. That's game one to Hawko. So, again, this is a first to two. Okay, so uh, these guys will need to play again. All right. By the way, it was a solid showing from Hawko. Yeah, yeah, no, he did really well. Uh, I reckon he can win this. If he just makes the right adjustments, uh, maybe just jumps less. He shouldn't really be jumping as, um, as Dalsim. Um, it's not something you want to be doing. Oh, okay. Hawko are playing. That's okay. So while um, we're we'll, 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 we'll waiting for uh, these guys to sort this out, um, don't forget to check out our YouTube and Discord channel, guys. Team WP, come in here, learn from 
the players themselves. L also hosts a show every Tuesday, was it? From this week onwards? Yeah, every Tuesday. Tuesday at 8.30, we have LP for you, uh, which is uh, just a learning channel where you, you come in, we give you advice, we talk about your matches. Um, there's a lot more to it than that at the moment, but that's that's the general gist. So yeah, all right, we'll just get um, working with you just to close this out really quickly. Hopefully uh, they've got the message that it should be... Oh, no, they're, they're actually playing. A good yes. while for the players, apparently. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh wow, Hawkeye's doing really well. So, um, look, I'm not going to, we won't commentate this round because it is just a, a gimme, a uh, warm up. So, just quickly, back to LP for you. Uh, where, as I said before, we're actually going to be having a Guile Knight. So, this means that we're going to be focusing on the character Guile. So, we're going to get uh, one of our resident Guile players um, to one of our top level Guile players to come in. They're going to help us, we're going to be on stream and um, focus on Guile things. So we're gonna get uh, the lower level Guile players, they're gonna come in, play a few sets. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to jump on the mic and uh, we'll be able to talk to them, tell them areas of improvement and try and get into their mindset, figure out what they were doing and what they were thinking at different times so we can get our higher level Guile to, you know, come in, go, no, you should be doing this. I understand that you thought about this, but actually you should do this, so. Um, yeah, I know, uh, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. 100%, I mean, yeah, it's a learning experience for everyone. You guys get to learn a lot while analyzing as well. Yeah, it's definitely. a bunch of fun all around. Everyone yeah. comes along and yep, yeah, lots of fun. No, it was good. All right. So, uh, that's that one. So we should be returning to our regularly scheduled program of, uh, fledglings where we're going to have, uh, Hawko versus Kadzo again. Oh, looks like they're just, uh, switching it to first to one instead. No, uh, we're just going through first to one. Yep. Sif is no going to be taking on, uh, Reckon with Fear. All right, no worries. All right, so this is uh, the last battle potentially if um, Requiem of Fear can take it out over Bug. So Bug needs to win this to get this bracket reset. If he can't do this, um, we're going to have our new crown champions as uh, Stretchy Fatty. Or is it Fatty Stretchy? Stretchy Fatty. Good. Stretchy uh, Fatty? Yeah, stretchy very fatty. good. You were out the first time, and again, oh, these... Uh, the sharp-looking birdie versus the uh, sporty Ibiki. Oof. All right. So this will be interesting to see. We've got um, Bug, who's probably been watching that previous match, picking up a few of uh, Rick and Fear's tendencies, getting an understanding of how he plays against the Ibuki. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, big jump in from uh, Rick in there. Ooh, gets him with the banana. All right, back to a bit of neutral. Oh, missed the bullhorn. Big opportunity here for Bug. Goes in. Oh, another bullhorn. Always having those ready. Oh. All right. The extra pull head. All right. Good DP out of that pressure. All right. Again. Oh, here we go. V-trigger activation. Big damage. Not quite enough to kill, though. Ibuki has V-trigger. Pops it. Bomb mix-ups. Which side? Oh, drops the combo. All right. Oh. Good back dash. Pointing the grab. All right. All right, that was smart. Using the bomb there to give himself some space to get some kunai and just waste them all. Oh god! Using the uh, using the armor there uh, to take that round. That was super so close. So smart from Requiem just to be able to close it out with armor. Yeah. Uh, not afraid either. Say like, Steph, going hard on Requiem now. He's he's like he's like I had enough of just spacing from last round. I'm mixing it back up, adjusting, staying calm, mm. collected. Nice tech coming out from Requiem. But again, Sif unrelenting. Oh. Nice EX ball rush though. 
They get a lot of damage out. Sweep. Sets up with the banana. Just playing, taking his time at the moment. Playing his game. Sif. Really nice work. Just nice open opening. And grabs him out of the bull rush as well. And yeah. that's going to be it. That's, that's 1-1. Yeah. One, one. This is a super boy set. Grand finals. <laughs> is this going to be... Yeah. Are we going to see the bracket record? reset? Or are going to see a reset? Ooh. All right. So that's one of the things that's really important to know about Birdie. Uh, all of his specials, even the EX versions, uh, can be grabbed. So his only real wake up option is critical art. So grab Birdie on his wake up is some really solid advice. Obviously, you got to mix it up because if he texts it, it resets it back to neutral. But anyway, bug in the corner. Good DP out. Oh, big jump ins. Not much off it though. Alright. Bug playing a bit patiently now. Oh, good use of EX can I, but gets tripped on the banana. Unfortunate. Nice banana placage by Rocket of Fear there. Alright. Command dash in. Thrown in the corner. What's he gonna do? Oh, again! With the EX armor, wake up. Goes into V trigger. Oh. A lot of damage. Oh, jabs. Oh, blocks the bullhorn, but no punish! What happened? Oh it my feels gosh. like it's nervous. Oh, good DP. Oh, and he gets jabbed out. Birdie crouching jab. So good. And that's going to be it. That is our new champions have been crowned. We have Stretchy Fatty as our new doubles tournament champion team with uh, Requiem of Fear and Kadzal. Yeah, it was a solid showing from both players. Uh, Kadzal really breaking down people's gameplay. May not have uh, beaten too many people in the later ends of the bracket, but he did have a yeah. nice showing. Probably learned quite a bit from Wekum. Yeah, no, I'm sure I'm sure he did. Um, all right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. That was a lot of fun. I'm so sorry about the few hitches that we had to start off. Um, but we got there in the end. We have a new team crowned. Um, if you want to watch this again, Go to our YouTube channel. It'll be there soon. Click the subscribe button while you're there if you haven't. Uh, while you're here on Twitch, click that like button. It does nothing but uh, help us here. It's at no cost to you. Click that like button. Um, and then if you want to subscribe, help out Team WP, chuck a little cash our way. Speaking of chucking cash our way, on the website, we do have the donate button. So uh, go on there, donate whatever you can if you want to help out the team. All of that money does go back into... Team WP helping us get our sponsored players out to different places, out to different tournaments, out to different events, because that's what we want to do. We want to get the Team WP and Australian name out there and uh, increase just the general uh, community skill of uh, Australia. Yeah, they'll be able to learn a lot from uh, traveling internationally, learning from you know the Japanese players, the American players, the Korean. Yeah. Everyone in general no, that plays this game, and it's they, they'll bring it back and share the, the secret check with us. Don't worry about that. So definitely, oh, I'm sure they will <laughs> help them, help us to help them, to help you. <laughs> exactly, and that's all. It's that's all this is about. It's about helping. All right, guys, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I'm LLL. Uh, we also have Rhymey here. Thank you yep. very much. It's been great. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks for coming along. Um, we hope you guys tune in next time. Uh, don't forget to check out next Sunday where we will have a fledgling night. So if you're kind of new uh, to the scene or just want to get some experience, come along. Come sign yeah, up. Yeah, definitely. All right. See you guys. Peace.